Hey. Maverick fam. How y'all living? We about to do another one of these. Seems like y'all enjoyed the last one. We appreciate y'all being here. We're going to talk about the new Madden trailer that dropped. There's actually two. We owe y'all the, the dynamic gameplay or dynamic game day trailer. And then the franchise joint. So let me get a one in the chat if you've already seen the trailer. And then tell us what we should expect. Is it a dub? Is it an L? I feel like after the first trailer, we were all on more of a eh, negative tone. Y'all were the more negative ones, though. Is that right? Yeah. I didn't see nothing too crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think the trailer can't get any worse. They didn't really show anything. But, but yeah, the first one's always the worst one. It's like, because they're <laughs> never trying to show you gameplay. Right. But we expect it every year. I see some dubs. I see some L's, too, though. I think the blatant, like, <laughs> Last year when they showed us a trailer and it just not being in the game, mm -hmm. that has me skeptical. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. We, there's a lot of stuff we saw in last year's trailer that just didn't happen in the game. Okay, every year. All right, let's do it. So we're gonna uh, blind, kind of blind react. We're gonna watch it once without any commentary, then we'll come back and talk about it. This is the dynamic game day trailer. Like that since they scavenged. What's up, everyone? Quinn Oldenburg here, gameplay producer of Madden NFL 22. Today, I'm thrilled to bring you some details on Madden 22's all-new dynamic game day feature and the three components that combine to create it. You'll also learn about core gameplay improvements, including player movement, catching, blocking, and tackling. Let's get into it. Dynamic Game Day is a next-gen feature that delivers on the raw energy and emotion of NFL game days through three core components, game day atmosphere, game day momentum, and next-gen stats star-driven AI. Dynamic Game Day deepens the gameplay experience through new levels of strategy, unique storytelling, and immersive stadium atmospheres. It also makes every snap and every game feel like a new challenge and impacts gameplay across every mode. Let's dive into the details, starting with Game Day Atmosphere. Game Day Atmosphere enhances every game of Madden 22 by bringing to life the unique characteristics and personality of each NFL stadium, as well as the real-world emotion, intensity, and fun of game day. Some examples of how atmosphere can impact gameplay include crowd noise making it tougher for the quarterback to hear a call or make an audible at the line, or a receiver to miss a hot route just like they might in real life. This all ties into the next component of Dynamic Game Day, an all-new game mechanic called Game Day Momentum. Game Day Momentum allows you to feel the highs and lows of the momentum swings of every game with the performance-based momentum meter and its in-game perks known as M-Factors. As momentum is gained and lost, M-Factors will affect teams in unexpected ways. Some M-Factor impacts include leaving a kicker in the ice state, receiver icons going missing, or making a hot route become more difficult to perform. We're also introducing home field advantage in Madden 22. Every NFL stadium in the game features a unique M factor that when triggered, can unlock a special boost created for each NFL team's environment. The home team will always have one extra M factor in the momentum meter, simulating the difficulty of winning on the road in the NFL. These unique M factors will be the first to unlock when a momentum shift happens. Here are some examples of the effects of home field advantage in different stadiums. Now, onto the third component of Dynamic Game Day, Next Gen Stats Star Driven AI. Over the last two years, more than 80% of games have been played against the CPU. By leveraging the NFL's Next Gen Stats, we've upgraded AI player behaviors and team tendencies so that single player games will feel just as deep and meaningful as playing against other humans. For individual AI players, Next Gen Stats are now used to drive player tendencies like these. For Team AI, each team will have its own personality, play calling style, and team tendencies, all driven by next-gen stats. 
For example, defenses like the Steelers who like to blitz will challenge your pocket presence on offense. Playing against a run-heavy team like the Ravens will be a completely different experience than playing the pass-heavy Bills. In Play Now and Franchise, these tendencies will evolve all season long as team stats change, either in the real world or within your franchise sim, so that each game will feel as fresh as each week in the NFL season. Next up, core gameplay improvements. We've gone even deeper with next-gen player movement this year, making players even more authentic and explosive in their movements and interactions, and added more nuance, context, and intelligence. In addition to more route running and player speed data, you'll also see the following. And that's not all. Expect more control when it comes to catching, like independent player battles for balls in the air, improved sideline catch flip detection, and more control and responsiveness in turning up the field after a catch. Tackling improvements include big bruising ball carriers will be more likely to fall forward in tackles, whereas smaller, more agile ball carriers will not be picking up those extra yards. And we improve blocking too. Passing pockets will form deeper and faster around the quarterback. And expect run blocking momentum enhancements like more animation variety, while opening up dynamic running lanes, ensuring momentum is properly reflected on both sides of the ball. Thanks for spending your time with us to learn more about Dynamic Game Day in Madden NFL 22. Stay tuned to EA Sports Madden NFL 22 channels for more information on the game ahead of the worldwide launch on August 20th, 2021. Okay. Thoughts Metro on the couch no after the first, first video. That was cool. Overall, dub or L? That's a dub for you, dub or L? It's like a dub L. Hmm, dub L. Because only two things made me go like, ooh. Okay. Yeah. Is that is not even enough? You need at least three for it to be a at dub least like or something? It's like four. It's like four, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Trent, what about you? I said that's a W. I would say two. I would say a lowercase W. Um, I I can appreciate some of the stuff they're doing for like the. It's not like they brought the stuff from NCAA back, essentially. Yeah. yeah. But they uh, improved on it in their own way. That I wasn't too excited about that. That seems cool. I kind of some of the stuff I heard Flam react to is like the running, like the momentum, yeah. like the running backs, better catches on the sidelines, I like being able to turn up. The left tackle actually ran through Fuller, yeah. like the safety, you know what I'm saying? Like he's yeah. not gonna block shed a left tackle. Or like engage in yeah. like the corner block shed. Yeah. That got me high. Yeah, listen. And then the adaptive uh, AI. So like when you play different teams, it's not the same. I thought that, that was- That could be cool, yeah. Especially going on with the franchise updates they made. Uh -huh. yeah. Chad, how'd y'all feel about that? <laughs> low, low dub, same animations. So I definitely do see a lot of the same animations. I don't know that that's on its own is bad. I don't think animations should be swapped out every year. As long as they're just adding new ones, I think that helps. I saw a couple that I liked, but I, I'm worried that some of them might be from like next gen and they're already in the game, and I'm just not used to playing the next-gen game. And they said all the new dynamics that was only on next-gen. Yeah. That was, yeah. So, so two different games again. Yeah. Two different games for sure. I like how they said smaller running. Don't expect smaller ball carriers to get those extra yards. For yeah. yeah. Who here has got a chance to play the beta? Did you guys like it? Are you guys noticing this? <clears throat> I didn't get enough time. Like, I feel like I noticed. Some of the momentum with the running. But I feel like there was something I, I still didn't like about it. I couldn't really put my finger on it. What about you? You played a little? Yeah. Like, overall, like, I like it or just, like, the momentum itself? Both. Like, the momentum felt slower. It felt like next gen or the previous Madden. I would say overall, though, I wasn't a fan of the beta. Didn't like it? But I don't think I played, like, a, I didn't play, like, a legit full game of it. Okay. Not a full game. Just dabbled. Yeah. I, I am curious, though, like... Since they're mentioning all this momentum and like size, player momentum. I played, but I was drinking, so I don't remember any of the gameplay. <laughs> Madden got you drinking in a beta? <laughs> drinking in the beta? Bro, you're not ready for release. <laughs> the glasses. All right, go ahead, Flint. Uh, I was just curious to know, like, so with all these like player size differential and skill bases, like, are you going to be able to stop the run coming out in a heavy? Right. You know, DB coverage, like, is that gonna matter, or can you be able, can you stop the pass in 4 3? So, you're worried about them just being too OP? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, every year, there, no matter what the game is, there's gonna be people that are gonna find holes in it. 
So I wonder like how strong is it gonna be? Yeah, I think the year uh, Flam's gonna be really, really good is when it Madden gets to where it should be, where you can't stop the run. Like if you come out in like strong eye, can't come out in three three five. Like, I'm undefeated uh, in next gen against them. Yeah. So we had like a couple of those, and next gen makes sense. But I just want to know, like, I don't know. I like uh, a lot of these tendencies, okay. so those, those make me happy. Yeah. It is boo boo. Next gen is boo boo. DJ. So yeah, maybe man. I just gotta be good. First <laughs> time, though, you know. So we'll see. Okay. I saw one of the things they're showing is like the home team, the momentum was able to add like 15 mile per hour wins on a field goal. That's that was crazy. Just crazy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is Chicago. Um, no, th some of that stuff isn't gonna be on current gen. It's only gonna be next gen stuff, so. which is weird. Right. And it sucks. And if you like franchise, I know this isn't the franchise trailer, but the AI improvements, those should be for more fun. Right. Like, uh, you know, run heavy is gonna work more or work the team is gonna play play differently than the Buffalo Bills. That got me excited. Right. And which y'all might see more franchise content around here. Yeah. And maybe you can finish doo doo to dynasty this year. How was the route running in the beta? It man, the beta honestly when I was playing it felt like the next gen game. But I didn't play enough next gen to be able to differentiate. So that's why I almost felt bad playing the beta. But some of the stuff I was like, you know, I didn't know if it was an improvement for the beta or for you know what I mean? Like the yeah. last year's next gen. Um so I don't know if I'm the best one. I don't know. Kelsey just looked like he was rounding them routes. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of that. Yeah. There's a lot of that. <laughs> Which, though, I was trying to, like, watch the NFL, too, and, like, some of the highlights that they've shown and stuff. Yeah. That is how they be doing it in the yeah. league. You know what I mean? It's not the... Robotic. Like, out routes and in routes don't look like that. Yeah. But... So I think there's some things that... Some of you sim guys, it's y'all fault. Y'all been asking for this. And just know that it's gonna... The game's gonna change the more realism they get, they add, but... I don't know. I think it's a W. I can't wait till they make you play with a VR headset. Like everything is just you. In the yeah, game. Flam gonna be shook. You gonna get real injuries. <laughs> gonna feel that Flam ain't gonna. Yeah. <laughs> Line size tag gonna hit different. Right. All right. Let's get the franchise this, one up, Luke. This looks good though. Like the graphics look good on this trailer. They didn't look like this on the beta. I like how. Bro, I feel like next gen had its potential, man. Next gen had the chance to be something. It's like a different feel to Madden. For me, it was mainly the defense. Owns. Like, if they could have fixed that, but I feel like they're getting close. I think they're going to need a few more years before we're, like, really impressed. I'm excited to see how, like, the yard in... I know they added that to the beta. I never got a chance to play it. Did anyone play the yard on the beta? Or even just the yard in next gen? Like, is it different with all the changes to the momentum and stuff? I think on the EA Madden on the Twitter page, they have like all the teams home field momentum. Mm. I read, I read some of them. They seem pretty cool. Yeah, a couple, couple realistic. might be OP. LinkedIn, out, or at least what does that do? I, I don't know. Did you? I wouldn't even know what the Eagles home field would be. I know the Browns in the red zone. Some receivers forget what their route is. It's so loud. Wow, that would be annoying. But that's realistic. Yeah. Should we have that? They gotta have a way to turn that off, like in competitive. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't. Even, I feel like Drini gonna be pissed. He call a slant, <laughs> yeah. he run a, a hitch. Like no, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. So would y'all want to see that in the beef? Because as we were watching the momentum, I was like, ooh, what if we add a sight to the features? Like if Juice is in momentum against Trent, like Team Trent can't even comment as much. Like it actually affects like on top of their momentum. We have our own momentum. What you think? But, but I could see how y'all wouldn't want some of those features. I, yeah, it's, <laughs> as a I would want it as straight up as possible. It's fair and even. Yeah. But you know how we be doing, the, certain people get to pick modes. Right, yeah. Should you get home field advantage? Maybe they could be like perks that we could add, you know? Maybe one game we do get to turn them on or the right. person does get to take advantage That'd of be it. cool. I think it adds a lot more perks. Yeah, I think there's potential with it. You gotta play in a hoodie. Downwind. Wait <laughs> with, with the heat pan. Yeah. Trust the system. Don't bother <laughs> enough. Yeah, like, what do those mean? Who day? I'm Un real curious. Unstable ground? I'm just waiting, just man. DJ's about to beam one of us in the head with this. I don't know if it's gonna be me or you, Trent. But oh, just yeah. be ready. It's yeah. coming. All right, you got the franchise one loaded, Luke? All right, we're gonna jump into franchise. Make sure y'all tag us on Twitter. Don't let us miss any more of these trailers they do. I mean, did you see that pass that had all of them? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. It has the dates on them, huh? We're ready. Let's go. Hey, everyone. Connor Dugan here, Senior Design Director on Madden NFL 22. Super excited to be here with you today to share some of the awesome work our teams are doing, specifically on franchise and Madden 22. Get ready, because we're about to go deep. Some new franchise features that we'll talk about today include franchise staff and new staff points, the importance of weekly strategy and the integration of dynamic game day on next-gen consoles, an enhanced season engine, franchise hub updates, tuning, and more. With new franchise staff, you're in control of everything from the front office to the field. Franchise staff is meant to empower you to build, grow, and customize your coaching staff using a new RPG talent tree system so you can build a team that fits your play style. There will be more than 60 different talents to choose from at launch, with more to be added via our Madden 22 Franchise Live Service Plan. Plus, the number one most requested improvement by our players to franchise is scouting. We're targeting September for the release of scouting through a live service update. Madden 22's revamped scouting feature will allow you to manage and assign your scouting staff with all new national and regional scouts. We'll have a whole new and much more in-depth system for uncovering details about your prospects. And just like real life, players will move up and down the draft board all season long. We'll have more to share on scouting later in the summer. Your franchise staff is made up of four positions, head coach, an offensive and a defensive coordinator, and a player personnel department. Now I bet you're wondering about those new staff points we mentioned at the top. Staff points can be earned weekly by setting goals, playing your games, and completing objectives. Then you can use staff points to upgrade your staff through coach talents. Easy, right? Next up, weekly strategy and dynamic game day integration. Each week in the NFL presents a new challenge for players, coaches, teams, and fans. Weekly strategy in Madden 22 is designed to mimic the dynamic environment while offering you the chance to confront and overcome various challenges in different ways. In essence, weekly strategy is really the core of your franchise experience. Who you play, where you play, and when you play all matter more than ever. Through next-gen stats and the dynamic game day integration, you'll be able to study your opponent's strengths and weaknesses with detailed statistical and play calling info. Manage your team's fatigue levels throughout the season by controlling practice intensity and reps between game days. Plus, you can assess your first half performance, make adjustments at halftime, and come out of the locker room better prepared for the second half. Because when game day happens, you can never be too ready. Here are some additional details on what you can expect to see in weekly strategy. NFL players, coaches, and GMs encounter a roller coaster of scenarios every day, every week, all season long. And the enhanced season engine in Madden 22 was built to emulate these true to life ups and downs of the NFL. Madden 22 will launch with over 35 scenarios and will add more as part of our continued franchise live service commitment. One example is the perfect chemistry scenario. During the season, an elite quarterback can trigger a tiered breakout for a young receiver. As the weeks go on, the challenges get tougher, but the rewards increase, giving you the chance to take a middling wide receiver and turn them into one of the league's rising stars. Scenarios like this will allow you to experience more fun and engaging choices, goals, and challenges that lead to meaningful rewards in-game. This expansive catalog of narrative-driven NFL content will start at launch and continue throughout the year, featuring new choices and challenges that are unique to each story with an impact on both your on-field gameplay as well as your off-field decision-making. We've also completely revamped the Franchise Hub to make the most important information about your franchise more accessible to you. Some of the updates you will see on the new Franchise Hub include an activities list that displays what you need to do each week, your goals for the week so you know what you need to accomplish to earn rewards, an updated news screen that keeps you informed of the top stories and reactions from around the league, faster access to roster management screens like signing free agents, adjusting your depth chart, or trading for players, a league tab that surfaces more data to your league versus hunting for information in your stat screens, and a member screen for your online franchise that is easily accessible. Thanks for spending your time with us to learn more about what's new in franchise in Madden NFL 22. 
Stay tuned for EA Sports Madden NFL 22 channels for more information on the game ahead of the worldwide launch on August 20th, 2021. All right. What y'all think? I don't feel like I'm qualified to speak too much on franchise. Yeah, I don't play franchise that much. It made me want to a little bit. I like it. It made me want to like a big ninja. Here's the, here's probably the one thing that'll get me to do franchise serious next year is if we have like, I'm not volume down all the way, Luke. On the, yeah. If we had like a high rollers franchise that you had to put like 150 in. Yeah. 300. With all the you swings, down? yeah. Would you do that juice? I feel like you'd like that. Yeah, I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't want to lose, Juice. <laughs> Just put a hundo in. Yeah, I'll do it. Would you take it serious? Yeah. I'll put I your money up. Thank you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Thank you. Yeah. Hold up. Juice low key got sponsors, man. Juice, um, Juice got someone that love him enough to put the money up. <laughs> go, go half on it. MJ. A, I would love to do a, something like that and then maybe even have a series behind it. That would make me want to do it. But I couldn't really understand most of what they were going on. I don't know what's in the game now, what's not in there. I just, one thing I did see that I don't think is in the game, you get to pick if you want, like, your team to practice or, like, full pads or shells or yeah. stuff like that. That's, mm. That sounds kind of heat. Right. But, to, like, preserve their stamina? Yeah. That's cool. So, no. They're chilling in practice. You ain't got to worry about them going hard all the time getting hurt in practice. It's mm. actually getting better. Franchise for sure is improved. Okay. It, it looks improved. It looks... I just always sim all this stuff and just play games. <laughs> right. <laughs> it, Man, it's crazy to see that in the last trailer, they said 80% of the games played were against the CPU. Well, you're playing a computer. Y'all y'all be playing a computer like that? Well, Fran, oh, if Flam does, you didn't even play the I computer. computer versus computer. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of people like Mizzou. I think that's something Mizzou would Put do. a one in the chat if you mostly play against computer. Put a five in the chat if you mostly play against users. Like if the Browns get whooped, yeah, I might fire up and play computer and see who they just beat. <laughs> but other than that, nah. If I play computer, it has a like a creative player. Man, what if they was lying to us and just put random names at the top? <laughs> and weekend week. Right. <laughs> Right. Playing all these bots. It, look, there's a lot of people. I wouldn't expect there to be too many ones on our channel because we don't do that type of content. Wait. Mizzou, did you like this trailer? You like franchise? Did this open your eyes? Yeah, so for some of you guys that like played, uh, what's it, Diamond Dynasty? And like 2K leagues and stuff. How does this compare? Mizzou ain't never happy. You can't ask Mizzou. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was telling Lou, he don't like nobody. Yeah. Let's do it. Definitely more fives, but okay. And Trey, you said there was nothing. Did anything make you want to play more franchise? Yeah, just saw the UI. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I saw. That I understood. The HUD. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, I don't think they showed much like on field, but it looks good. I'm excited to see how it Word up. Well, well, we'll see how that goes down. So, on a scale from one to ten, let's remember. I think Juice. You said from the competitive side you were 10, but where were you at from the last trailer in terms of being impressed and where are you at now? I was like a five or six, I think. Okay. And I'm like a six still. Six, okay. I gotta play it, I wanna play it. Right, they haven't really moved you much with yeah. the trailer. Mm -hmm. All right, Flam, where'd you, where were you and where'd you go to? I think I was at a four, the first one we did. I'm by show. Four to a seven, not bad, yeah, okay. About, about a seven. Sure. I might've been a seven or an eight. Okay. If I, I, I was say if I was a seven, I'm an eight now. An eight, yeah. Yeah. Man, I don't want to steal your answer, but I feel like that. I don't remember what I said last time, but trying to remember back, I feel like I was around a seven. There's just a, I don't know if I can even go under a seven. I just like Madden so much. Like the trailer could be like ninjas' heads falling off, wrong names, and like I just play Madden. It's weird. I don't know. And so I think I, I I'm gonna say I was like a seven, maybe a six and a half, seven. But. And I'm like an eight. Well, I think I, I, I was playing at seven. Why you say that? Hold on. One in the chat. If you one of those ninjas that you just know you're going to buy Madden every year, even if you feel like you're going to get scammed. I never felt like I was getting scammed buying Madden, but even if I did, I'd still buy it. And even if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I'd still buy it. All right, go ahead. I was, I was probably at a seven, and we had to play the beta at that time. But then after the beta, the lower player probably went to like a five. Oh, and I dig I'm that. And you're back up. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna probably. Get I dropped a little bit after playing the beta too. That's that's a good point. Uh, 
Yeah, that's the thing. That's a really good Remember point. Remember last year they gave us the beta and there was problems with it and the game launched and it was still the I beta felt bad about the beta last yeah. year too, yeah. So. And that's why I didn't get into it much this year. Yeah, so I definitely, after I played the beta, I was like, no. Is that the whole point of a beta? No. To what? See what the issues are and fix it before launch or try to fix it. I don't, here's my thing with betas. You can't fix nothing tangible from now to release because what, the game's the game, they can only tune. But I think, yes, for that reason, they can see, okay, do we need to tune these zones a yeah. little bit? Stuff like that, yes. I would like to see them, I don't know what they've been doing with the game changers. They ain't flown me out. If they've been having meetings, they just ain't been <laughs> telling me. But, I, bro, and they were starting to do it. I don't know if COVID fluffed it up. They need to get all of the people that's most critical about the game, whether they sell packs or not, or not packs, Um, coins. whether they sell coins or not, okay? I get it, you trying to get your bag. Yeah, just put that aside for a little bit. Um, there's this dude that be making so many videos about them. They need to bring him in. Like, I can't remember his name. Some of y'all might know. Um, he's pretty critical, but I don't think he's like, he, he be tripping. He's negative, but he knows what he's talking about. And so get, get him, get people that's kind of in the middle like me, just cause I want to keep going. Um, get pe just get people, get people in early. All of the content creators that are willing, get them in there and Low key, don't release stuff like this till all of them are saying it's dope. That's what I think should be the move. Do you think the Moody? They need to get my get my man Moody out there. Fly Moody out there. So you think content creators should get a say so like a year before the game? Not just on. content creators. I think they were. I I low key feel like EA was trying to do something dope, and I was rocking with it. I just haven't been updated on what it was. Mm -hmm. But not just content creators. But let us be the voice and like the connecting point. But just get like. There's someone that stays on every Madden forum, hating on the game, and they got spreadsheets and and all these reasons on why the game's trash. Bro, they've done the work for you. Bring them in. And I think some of the biggest haters know what the fluff they're talking about. They know what they're talking about. Um, and so that's what I think. And you can't do that on a beta, right? There's no, all the feedback in the world, they can't change it before the beta. And so, I think if they kind of get back to that, it's going to take time, but it can get there. I think that's the blueprint for gaming in general. Think of all the dope games that have like early access and are great now because of it. You know what I mean? They, people got in, they made updates frequently, but it was all based off the user feedback. That's it, man. That's the new platform. That's the new way for, uh, for gaming. Angry Joe. Get that Ninja Angry Joe in there. <laughs> get Ryan Moody on one side. Angry Joe. Let them. All right. They're going to say a lot of stuff that don't. All right, that's just the emotions talking, but some of it's a lot of it's gonna make sense, man. And they mad because they be talking to a bunch of other critical ninjas all day, and they just be going back and forth, getting mad. Like that's good stuff. <laughs> that's just my thought, though. All right, any final closing thoughts before we end our talk on Madden? You just ready to get back to the smoke? I was on like, like if there was a spectrum when it first started. Before I saw a trailer, I was like, game is gonna stink. After the first trailer, it didn't move. Then I saw the gameplay. So like mid, and then I saw a franchise. And I'm on the positive spectrum. You're on the oh, you're on mine and Trent's side I'm now. Okay. Side now. Which side are you on? You negative side or positive side? I'm gonna be the positive positive side when I can sweat the game. Okay. Because I'm gonna get used to it and then I'm gonna end up liking it. But as of right now, just looking at the trailers, it's not like Ooh, I want to play. You're Madden. like every competitive Madden player. You yeah. low key hate the game. You might even complain all year, but you gonna grind it and be good. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. What about you, Trent? Where are you at? I'm ready to play. I'm saying I'll buy it about an eight out of ten, like out of excitement for it. And okay. From what I saw, like I said, I want to be able to. From what I saw, the beta, just a lot of the same stuff working and being trash. That, that makes you not want to grind. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, it's basically just a continuation. I would really love it if this game. It didn't really just pick up from where the last one ended. Yeah. It would be real fun, but I'm ready. Like Juice said, I want to be able to grind it because no matter how trash it is, that we end up getting used to it if we forget about it. I'm sorry, anyone excited for this game is straight up insane. And maybe we are, Ryan, but that's our prerogative. Let us be insane. insane. I would also say you're insane if you come to chats knowing you don't like the game just to hate on people that are excited about it. You knew you ain't like Madden before you clicked on it. Insane and you prime. So, look, as the Madden community, we all fluffed insane. up. Okay, half of us buy a game that sometimes, I've never been on that where I just don't like Madden. Like I said, I'm still gonna buy it, even if I didn't. But the other ones, y'all hang around and hate a game y'all don't like. So y'all crazy like us too. So don't don't get self-righteous. We all crazy around here.
All right, uh, finally, chat, let us know where you're at. Are you on the positive end or the negative end? I would say I'm on the positive end for sure. This is the most effort they put into the game in a long time. See, I don't get that. How you say that? Think about the years where they had long shot. We ain't won it. That was a lot of effort, though. Uh, they dropped Superstar KO, I think, midway that year. But you know what I mean? Like You couldn't even play that mode, though. No, the first year it was good. Last year, it didn't work. Yeah. So it's weird. I be feeling like EA and 2K put a lot of effort in. Sometimes it's just like, is it in the area it was supposed to go, though? Right. You know? Yeah. It's like, like if somebody trying to lose belly belly fat, but they work on their traps. <laughs> they yes. Yeah. Or just <laughs> and, and not changing their diet at all. Yeah. And they're yeah. like, I'm working out. What's, you know, it's like. My biceps, though. Yeah. But I kind of like what Trent said, too, in closing, too. I One thing that I do, I get y'all wanting stuff to be changed. And I have said, like, they can't change a whole lot year to year, and I get that. But the one thing I would like to see changed enough is so that the meta is different. I don't want to have the same exact meta from year to year. And it seemed like they at least did that from this year because it went, think of all the <laughs> competitive games, not last year, but the year before it was all running. And then you had the ones this year where it was like, we watched it, we did the watch party. There was yeah. a running in the, the team one of the yeah. squads, but there was a lot of passing. But if it's gonna be the same passes, from what I saw, like my first game of the beta, the guy came out and Mike Blitz three to stop just the throw one. It was just the same thing. Uh, it was like I was just playing the last. Match. I've seen some people on Twitter, some good people making it seem like the meta could be the same. That worries me, cause then I'm not gonna be playing it a lot. I, I want, I like you said, I want to grind, even if it's a bad grind. I just want it to be a different grind, please, yeah. please, y'all, yeah. please. Okay. That's, I think that's that's. Not a lot to ask for because it's a new game every year for that reason. It should feel like a different grind, I feel like. Yeah. It should. Yeah. Right. I man said one year's crosser is in his corners and it yeah, at least at least that though. You right. But let me go from one to the next. I don't want two years of it. All right. DJ's being a punk. We're gonna get out of here, man. We appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for rocking with us. Y'all are awesome. Have a blessed rest of your day. Oh, if you care, we about to go live on the Let's Play channel. We got a Rust server we working on, man. It's getting deep over there. So Woo. you can head to the Let's Play channel if you want to check that out. But we love you. Have a blessed rest of y'all day. And until next time, God first, God bless.